Greetings, cheeseheads! This is Tovresh Pazan with the iPadBoardGames.org review of First and Goal. I live daily with the shame of being an American male who knows almost nothing of American football. Now that we are in fantasy draft season, I was hoping to use First and Goal to learn something of what my coworkers have been obsessing over the past month. Is it up to the task? First and Goal is a fairly technical simulation of American football. Rather than controlling individual players, as in, say, Blood Bowl, First and Goal uses a deck of cards to simulate plays conducted by an entire team. Both the offensive and defensive players, determined initially by a coin toss, start with a deck of 60 cards, each depicting a different play you can call. You'll have eight of these in hand at any time. Each player selects a card, and both players reveal their cards simultaneously. Based on which play each side called, there are only 12 plays in each deck, a different configuration of dice is rolled. These dice will ultimately determine how many yards are gained or lost, as well as whether or not penalties are assigned, passes are intercepted, and so on. In a given drive, the offensive player has four downs to advance 10 yards. If he is unable to do so, or if he makes a touchdown, or experiences a turnover, fumble, incomplete pass, etc., the other player gains offense. When this happens, both players shuffle their hands back into their decks, exchange decks, and draw a new hand of eight cards. Ultimately, the offensive deck also serves as the game clock. When the offensive player can no longer draw cards, the half is over. Each coach also has three timeouts per half. You can call one of these at any time to either reshuffle your hand into your deck and replace it with eight new cards, or to draw any specific play out of the discard pile. There are also a few special plays, punts, field goals, etc., that are always available whenever applicable. At the end of the second half, the highest score wins. In the event of a tie, a new offensive player is determined by coin toss, and you enter sudden death overtime. First player to score wins. First and Goal's interface is characterized by crisp edges and bold colors. Unlike most other apps that feature dice rolling, no interaction is required by the player to trigger the dice. They simply roll automatically whenever required, sometimes off the screen, and are then gathered at the bottom of the screen if relevant. The game features no tutorial at all. The game includes a full instruction manual which can be accessed at any time during play. Though the game is not overly complicated, the subtleties of the strategy assume that the player is already fairly familiar with the subject matter. The ranked newbie will eventually suss out that passing plays can gain more yards than running plays, that squib kicks won't usually go as far as standard kickoffs, and so on. However, if you're not already pretty familiar with these basic tactics, expect to spend a lot of time staring at each card and trying to suss out from the possible dice combinations which play is the best for which situation. Multiplay exists, but only as pass and play. There is no hook into Game Center, even for leaderboards. This also means the initial download may lack variety, as the two sides in the base game are essentially even. Four expansion packs exist as 99 cent IAPs. Each of these contains four different sets of dice, slanting the odds in favor of passing plays, running plays, or defensive prowess on average. Once you obtain one or more, you can specify which set of dice your particular team will use. You can also change the team logo and colors. You could do this with only the base set as well, but with a lack of online, it's purely your own aesthetic sense being affected. Though lacking in online gameplay, there are a number of play modes to keep you busy. Once you use the quick play mode to get your head around the basics, you can use the bracket mode to engage in a mini playoff whenever you get the urge, or use the season mode to go through a full 17-week season just like the pros, except the game lacks an NFL license, so no likeness of said pros appear anywhere. How much you get out of this game will likely depend on how much you already appreciate the subject matter. If names like nickel and button hook and RP option mean anything to you, then the level of abstraction should free you to intuitively select the right play, while the dice mechanic allows for many possible outcomes, exponentially more with one or two of the expansions. If such nuance of strategy isn't already ingrained, however, the game becomes little more than one of guessing which card to play at any given moment. There isn't much in this game to suggest when play X would be superior to play Y. With that said, the lack of online multiplay is a profound disappointment here. The nature of this game is inherently head-to-head, and especially once fantasy draft season winds down, would provide excellent leaderboard fodder for those whose dreams include names like Favre and Ditka. What is here is excellently presented, but for different reasons, this one is aimed as squarely at existing fans as Blood Bowl was. They're just different fans.